Hi, this is Nelson Ryan with Southern Light LED. Today we're going to show you what we have to offer with our boat light setups. Um, explain to you the differences. We get lots of calls. We've introduced some new lights since our last video. So we're going to go through it and tell you the differences, help you make your decision on which one's right for you. First, we'll start with our bass boat light. Our bass boat light's 100 watt output comes with a spot beam like you see here and also a flood beam diffuser. It is mounted to a ram mount. You can mount it to our trolling motor plate is another option that bolts in between your trolling motor and your boat. Uh, we have a video showing that. But this is an option great for running high speeds at night. Has a long projection not a very wide projection, but most of your bass boat situations, you're not making 180 turns in small little creeks. Uh, so this one's more designed for lake and big river running. It's gonna show you everything and before you hit it. Um, I've been in several situations at night with customers of mine, uh, professional fishermen that we would be running the river after a big rain. Uh, sh sure enough, there's a big log floating right out in the middle with a knocker motor off. But we picked it up plenty of time with this bass boat light. You have to excuse the welding in the back. Uh, they're busy building more lights. Um, next, let's see. We'll go to our Gen 2. Gen 2, all steel housing, not to break it. Got our rolled front end bar that all our lights incorporate. Um, what this does, instead of a sharp edge on the front, this will catch limbs and debris and reeds and grass and cut it and stack it full of grass. We have a rolled bar so everything can roll off the edge. Um, this light features our swivel down capability. So while you're trailering, you don't have to worry about your light getting dirt, mud, most of our boat ramps that we go to with our duck boats and such, uh, dirt roads. So when you get there, you swivel it up and you've got a um, good clean end. Also, it protects it from being sandblasted. If you're going from South Louisiana all the way to Missouri or Arkansas, towing your boat, your tires are constantly kicking up sand right on your light. You can swivel this down, you don't have to worry about it being sandblasted. You get there, your lens looks all frosted. Um, you can swivel it down with our lights, keep it protected. This light right here, we designed, none of our lights are designed to be better than the other. Each one has their own specific application. A lot of people think the Gen 2 is better than the Gen 1. The Gen 3 is better than the Gen 2. Um, that's not the um, truth. Each one has their own specific design. This one we designed, we had more people that needed longer distance, that were traveling coastal marshes, big open bays, uh, large lakes. Um, never got into your small creeks or small, small areas. Um, basically when a customer calls in and asks which one they need, we basically base it on a percentage basis. If you're gonna be running say 80% in open, big open water, big rivers, big lakes, coastal marsh, you're gonna need the Gen 2. Um, the other 20%, this will accommodate for those tight areas. The Gen 2 has a tri-beam technology. We have super floods built into this light. We have floods and spots. So you get three beams all in one light. And what that does is give you a perfect long distance to pick up your marker buoys um, for your channels. This will light those up a mile away. Super, super bright, super, super small. You mount down, we have our security bolts. We have a video showing you how to do that. It's got four tabs that mounts to. Also, we have security bolts on the side. Without a special attachment, once this is bolted down with our security bolts, to your boat, nobody can take your light out of your housing, so it's theft deterrent, almost theft proof. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's what the Gen 2 is designed for. 
next we will go to our Gen 1.2. Gen 1.2 is a little bit larger. It's not as near as large as it looks in pictures and as people think. Um, I'll set the two kind of beside each other. You've got almost inch in height difference and approximately an inch, inch and a half deeper. Um, the width is pretty much identical. The difference in these two lights is their specific application. The Gen 1 and this one being the 1.2 is our second version of our Gen 1. And what we did to change it to the 1.2 from the original one is we updated our boards. We use newer technology and diode technology. Uh, your lumen per watt output is extremely greater with the new 1.2. We have a 20,000 lumen output on this 11 inch light. It's the brightest 11 inch light that we know of on the planet. This light has our spot lenses and our super diffusers which throw a 175 degree flood pattern. One thing we had to do with the original design of this light because it's such a wide pattern is if you were to mount this light back in the housing where it swivels to or where it slides to, the size of the housing will actually block the light pattern. So we had to design this to where it would slide all the way forward to where that light could shine out to the sides. Still has to slide back, so when you swivel it, it's completely back in the housing protected. It's not sticking out, out the front. To where it can be hit. So, this light, as it was originally designed, is designed for your tighter creeks, small rivers, um, if you're going to be, say, 40, 50 percent in tighter areas is mainly where you navigate, this light's going to be better suited for you. With the upgrade to the lumen capacity that we increased it to, it has a lot further distance to project to where it can pick up, you know, obstacles before for that bigger open water running. Um, this light, I would say, is going to show you a bank or anything approximately, you know, three to four hundred yards away um, with the spot lenses that are in it now. The Gen 2, it's going to pick it up six, eight hundred yards away. You're going to be able to see those banks. So it's uh, the diode technology in one versus the other. One's more suited for long distance. This one's suited for a general all-purpose long uh, medium distance to extremely wide angle so when you're in those real tight areas making turns and such you're going to see everything that's to the side of your boat one thing also all of our housings incorporate our navigational holes this is where you can add your navigational lights you can order the light with the navigational lights already in it if you prefer but all of them incorporate the holes already that it can be added at a future date. Finally, we'll go to our Gen 3 setup. We basically designed the Gen 3. Um, we've had the Gen 3 design for probably four or five years now. Never really introduced it to the market until our dealers requested that we produced something in a three light setup. They had several customers that would come in and just insist on a three light setup thinking it's better. That is not the case. Um, our Gen 1.2 compared to this Gen 3 is very, very similar. The difference is our Gen 3 incorporates the tri-beam technology in our Gen 2 in the center light. So the center light is identical to the Gen 2. You're getting the long distance, the mile. Also, we've developed our 40 watt cubes with a special beam pattern to give a super flood pattern 
with a long distance combined output. What this does that's very unique to our lights and we test and test and test our lights and don't introduce anything to the market until it's absolutely perfect. What we have done that is different to all other lights than this light is we have a perfect 220 degree light pattern from the dead center all the way to the side of 220 to two full degrees both directions you will have complete even light what most of our dealers and customers found in other comparables that had a three light setup is they more or less use a ATV, UTV truck, LED light and slap it in a housing and point it in three directions uh, to match the bow of a boat. What you get there and many, many customers and dealers that I've talked to is you basically get three spots of light. You get a bright spot here, a bright spot to the right, and a bright spot to the left. What you will find in our light that is extremely unique is you do not get the three spot look. You get completely even light throughout the beam pattern. That took years of product testing and designing to get our beam pattern specifically designed for a boat. Also what you will find different is when you take a truck design light bar and put it in a housing you get a horizontal type pattern. So as your bow goes up and down, depending on your load for that day, or depending on how you're trimmed out, that pattern's gonna go with your bow. So your lights will be in the trees, now it's gonna be in the water. What we have done with this three light setup is we have more of a vertical pattern. So no matter where your bow is, that light is gonna be spread out vertically to where you don't get the up in the trees, down in the water. Look, what you're gonna have is a boat light with any of these that's specifically designed for marine navigation. These have compensated for that bow rise. We have, in the GM3, we have a 20,000 lumen output in our three light setup. That takes it brighter than the Gen 2, comparable to the Gen 1.2, but it is wider than the Gen 1.2 and wider beam pattern than the Gen 2. Also in designing it, we had to have a super narrow width light to mount on the front. We didn't want something that sticks all the way to the side. Most people have a trolling motor that comes off through here. We had to keep our light very narrow. So what we have done is design this slim line with our side lights. So keeping the light extremely compact. It's not taking up your whole back. I mean, you can see this is a 16 foot boat and you have over a foot on both sides of the light still to spare. So it's extremely narrow. Also on the Gen 3, you don't have the knobs to tighten the light down, to swivel it down. What we have done is we've incorporated these washers and these screws to where you can get the torsion just right to where you can forcefully slide the light down and still protect it. Then when it's time, you can forcefully push it back up getting it exactly how you want it. That works real well for your road trips and going to and from the boat ramp. Now one thing people, one of our most asked questions is, what's the difference of the regular light versus a black ops? Now, easiest way is to show you. There's a visible difference in these two lights. The bottom one's the black ops. The top one is the regular light without the black ops option. What you see is the difference. As far as projection or output or anything else, there is no difference in the lights. The physical appearance is the only difference. Certain people like it blacked out, certain people don't. 
So that is the only difference in the two lights. This light, these are Gen 3, has our nabs mounted on here. You can see them on both sides. So I hope that explains everything, gives you a good idea of the differences in all our lights. What we've tried to do here at Southern Light from day one is design light specifically for your boating needs and to keep people safer on the water. That's basically why I started this company. Um, feel free to go read my bio, kind of explains how I got into this and what inspired me to keep people safer on the water. And this is accumulation of product design and research and many hours of testing. But what we're, we'll continue to do is give 100% customer service. When you purchase from Southern Light LED, you can know that your product is going to do the needs that you need it to do. It's going to last a lifetime. And it's going to give you far superior beam projection than any other light that's produced on the market. I hope this video has helped explain everything that you had questions about. This is Nelson Ryan. I thank you for your business. And God bless.